Hi YouTube. <clears throat> so it seems that people are having problems uh, finding and ordering the flat chains for the dozers. I've been working on a 3D printed track chain which might be a solution for this problem. Now I don't know if it's strong enough yet. Uh, I don't know if it can handle the, the power of the motors in the dozer. And this is it right here. Now these track pads are printed as one piece. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm not sure if they are strong enough yet. But at least they look good and they are very cheap to produce. So if this works, we have another option when it comes to choosing the tracks on the dozer. So here we have a... a it's not finished as you can see, but we have a D6 dozer with the 3D printed tracks. Uh, we have a new sprocket, new idle wheels, uh, new track tensioners and new running gear. That's because this chain right here is a little wider on these parts than the steel chain. So I had to make new parts for it and I didn't bother painting them because obviously I I don't know if this will work yet. And that's the reason of this video right here. Uh, I'm bringing this dozer outside today and I'm going to test how much these can take. Now, in this dozer I run the upgraded um, track motors. So these are, yeah, you can barely see them down there. Uh, these motors, they are much, much more powerful than the ones I recommended in the build manual so yeah we'll see how this goes let's just bring it outside and test this
So I'm back inside um, and the tracks, they held up. They are really strong. Uh, this seems promising. The only thing that stopped me was one of the screws on the tracks screwed itself out again. So I locked up one of the tracks. Now I'm going to fix that screw and then I can continue testing. So the screw is now back in place. Let's have an inspection on these tracks. I tried to clean them out in the in the water outside, but they're still dirty. <laughs> So far so good, I don't see anything on this side. Yeah, it's standing on a plastic box, <laughs> by the way. Now let's see if this side is okay. This one seems to be, oh, it has a lot of debris in here. Let's see if we can clean that out. Yeah, look at this. Seems to be something locked up inside of that one. Let's see here. Yeah. Let's run it over here. Yeah, there's a rock in there. Let's try to remove it. There it is. Well, I don't see any other problems here and having rocks in the tracks, that's a common issue on a dozer, so I'm very happy with these tracks. I had my hopes up that these tracks would handle the stress and it seems like they do. It started raining outside, as you can see on my transmitter. Now I want to give you a little tip. If you run the upgraded motors like I do on this dozer, uh, they're they're a little fast when you drive forward. And now on this transmitter, there's a there's a setting that allows you to let's see here that allows you to uh, simulate two gears, like you can use this switch and switch from second to first gear and first to second so I'm going to show you what I mean here you can turn down the speed while this switch is up and when you flip it down you can have more speed on the motors now this gives you a lot better throttle control when, or controlling the dozer when pushing something 
I'll give you a demonstration. I'm going to keep this throttle at this speed. Uh, it's hard to do with that hand. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to push the throttle, keep it there, and I'm going to flip the switch. Okay, ready? I'm going to flip the switch now. You see? And I flip the switch. Now, how you do this? You go into... Of course, you need this transmitter. I'm not sure if it works on anything else, obviously. So you go to this setting. Function. And you go down to rate exponential switch. You press that. And this is the switch you want. I'm using this one, which says right here, SWD. And I choose SWD. You go back. Then you go to rate exponential. And notice this. Channel 1, normal. If I flip the switch, this will change to sport. You see? So this is how I do it. I run channel 1 at 70% on rate. That means I turn down the motors uh, 30%. And of course, since there's two track motors, you need to do this on channel 1 and channel 2. And you can see when I flip the switch, there's 100. 70, 100. And also, this means that track motor number 1 and track motor number 2 needs to be in channels 1 and 2. You can't have the track motors at channel 3 and 4. And I'll show you why. If you go to rate, you can't choose channel 3. Now, the reason for that is because channel 3 is actually throttle curve. And when you go to throttle curve and flip the switch, nothing happens. Throttle curve will always stay the same. So you need to have the track motors on channel 1 and 2 for this to work. Anyway guys, uh, I think that these tracks are a success. And I, I will release the files for these on Colts 3D. I only need to uh, fix my design a little. I had to redesign the whole running gear, so there's a few smaller issues with it right now that needs to be, be fixed. I'll show you. The biggest issue that I have right now is this track tension piece. It has a lot of play in it. And that is because of this spring area here, right here. I changed this uh, on the on the normal dozer. It has three springs in here. Uh, right now I'm running two, so I kind of messed up when I fixed the inside of this. So I'm going to look into that, and I don't think there was much more problems really. Only that the track tensioners has. A little play in them and they are a little tight on the inside so I'll fix that as well okay guys I hope you found this video interesting and helpful uh, I'll be releasing these files soon and thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like the video and I'll see you soon bye bye